This is myth number four. All digital transformation strategies are good strategies. Now, it's a difficult one. This is a video that will take a little bit longer than the others because we've got to go into a little bit more depth. Um, quite often, if someone produces a digital transformation strategy, which of course I don't agree that it should be a digital transformation strategy, it should be a business strategy which incorporates transformation, but that said, if someone produces a digital transformation strategy, who says it's a good one? How does it compare against bad ones? How do we know? Um, what I'm going to do now is take a look that if you've got a strategy, it, and it's, this is the interesting thing, we go competitive in almost all environments of the business. We go to a procurement competition to see if we're going to be able to get it at the right price. We go run competitions for recruitment to make sure we get the right people. But the most compelling part that creates our competitive advantage, the strategic part, we tend to outsource it either to or get assistance from a management consultancy firm or we do it ourselves and then we don't question it. It kind of, let's just get it done. So my argument is that there are str most strategies as we see them, especially those that have been done by management consultancy parts that are bolted into technology firms, tend to focus more on the technology than on the business outcome and how we're going to change our people in order to transform the organization. If we're on the communications end of things, we talk about how we're going to communicate the value, but not necessarily how we're going to execute. Really good strategies understand that it's going to take the whole organization to shift its mindset, its processes and how it does stuff. There is a book by a guy called Professor Richard Rummeld. This is the video that we're going to take a quick look at of him in the London School of Economics giving a lecture. Professor Rummeld is, has got a book, came out in 2012, called Good Strategy, Bad Strategy. I would definitely recommend it as a read. And he talks about strategies that are, what it's going to take to actually make a strategy and what is not a strategy. And more often than not, what we read is not a strategy, what well, more often than not then, if we've got that strategy piece missing, transformation isn't a transformation strategy, it's an operational efficiency plan. And what we really need to understand is what is it going to take to create a good strategy? And I think Rummelt explains it best in the slides that I will, that will precede this video. So take a quick look at what he says. Good strategy, bad strategy. Came out of because of a growing frustration in the gap between what one thinks of as strategy and what passes for strategy in so many companies and so many politicians' mouths and so many government agencies and so many nonprofits, universities, school systems. They say they have a strategy, but they don't. They have something else, something I call bad strategy. And bad strategy is not the absence of strategy. It's an active force uh, of mistaken belief in how to think strategically. So what he's saying is that it's not the absence of strategy that's the problem. It's the mistaken belief in what is strategy. This is a line that I've taken from the video. It says strategy comes from identifying one or two of the critical issues in the situation. The pivotal points that can multiply the effectiveness of effort and then concentrating our actions and resources on them. So, hold on a second. Identifying one or two issues? One or two? How is a strategy about one or two issues? Well, if a strategy is a plan of action, we need to only identify the real near-term biggest leap of faith assumptions, the biggest challenges, and deal with them. So that means that what Rummel is saying is that strategies are not three-year, four-year, five-year plans. They're three-month, six-month plans. What are the big problems, the barriers that are preventing us from getting to the future, to the desired vision state? The second thing he says is that we have to use the pivot points that can multiply the effectiveness of effort. Now, in my mind's eye, what that means is that inside every business, there are levers, things that we're really good at, people that we have, connections that we have, assets that exist. They need to be le leveraged so that we can deliver on the strategic goals better than anyone else because we've got these insights, we've got these abilities that are much better and superior to others. 
The third thing he says we've got to do is focus and concentrate our actions and resources on them. Identify one or two issues that are critical in the situation, the pivot points that can multiply the effectiveness of effort, and then focus and concentrate our actions and resources on them. This is much more different than most strategies are written. Most strategies are written for three and five years. They turn out that they are actually just visions. What then tends to happen is targets get attached to it and go, over to you management, you now have to deliver on this. What Rummel is saying is a really good strategy, it starts out with the vision, and you then look at the biggest challenges, the areas that are going to be the most difficult to attain in order to help us get closer to that goal. Another way that I like to, to visualize this is the idea of stacking marbles. The higher up the stack goes, the more vulnerable it becomes. What happens is if there's anything disrupts at the bottom level, the whole thing falls over. We're best to at best stack one marble on top of the next. Don't look too far into the future. Why is this so necessary for digital transformation? The answer is because our outcomes that we're looking should be data-driven. Experiments should be able to give us the answers to the leap of faith assumptions, the challenges that we have, the identified near-term biggest problems that are preventing us from getting to that desired destination. So in the strategy, you still have something called a vision document, a purpose document. What are we trying to achieve by when? That's fine. But Rommel says you've got to go a layer below. You've got to then diagnose the problem. He puts it in the term of being a strategy kernel. And I like this. The idea of strategy kernel is that the leadership have to diagnose the business problem. The diagnosis of the business problem, let's put it in another way. The doctor is in charge of the strategy. The doctor says, I have diagnosed that the problem with your knee is a cartilage problem. The doctor then gives guiding policy. Guiding policy one could be that you need to get some kind of physiotherapy. Guiding policy number two could be that you need to get surgery. Guiding policy number three could be that you have to take drugs. Which of those three do you want to take? Do you want to take the pill? Do you want to get the physiotherapy? Or do you want to get the surgery? That's up to you to execute upon. And with that then comes what he would refer to as coherent action. A strategy needs to have a diagnosis of the current situation, the big problem that we're facing. He said that we need as leaders to give some sort of guiding policy to those that are going to overcome this. It's then up to our managers to be able to take and create great teams that will take coherent action to overcome those strategic issues. Now, in the absence of us doing that, incoherent action flourishes. And incoherent action is what most digital transformation plans are because they were planned out two to three years in advance. Operational efficiency was mistaken as transformation. The leaders thought that their goal was completed by simply supplying the vision and targets, handed that over to others to run. The true diagnosis of the situation and the big near-term risks in that were not identified quickly enough and relevant resource was not put in to supplying the solution. If we're not doing that, according to Richard Rommelt, we're not being strategic. Thanks for watching, on to the next video.